Hello everyone, Dave Dev here. In this video, we're going to talk about how to create virtual host to simulate a website with a domain locally using XAMPP. Now for this video, we require an installation of XAMPP. Um, if you don't have it, please uh, take a look at my previous video about how to install and configure XAMPP to use it. Um, <clears throat> if you do, let's just continue. So, um, for doing that, we will need uh, to go to XAMPP folders and uh, let's go to htdocs. So in here, as I said in previous video, is where you store your uh, local websites. As you can see here, I don't have any, so let's just create one. Um, I, you don't need to, but I tend to specify what virtual host uh, domain I'm going to use on the on the folder. So for this video, we are going to use dev. Well, in, actually, I want to use example.com. Now, the problem with this is that um, this configuration is going to override this uh, domain. So if you have example.com uh, live on, on a server and you want to be able to access the local one and also the live one, uh, you will need to use a different domain. So what I tend to do is just add a prefix, like for example, dev.example.com. This way you know exactly what, what version of the website are you uh, browsing when you use the browser. So if it has dev on, on as a prefix, it means that you are browsing the, the one on your machine. But if it doesn't, it means that you are browsing the live version. Keep in mind of this because if you use the exact same domain on both, um, the local one will override the live one. So you won't be able to um, browse the live version of it. So uh, let's just continue. Uh, what I tend to do here is uh, create a public folder or public. And here is where I store all the public files that people can see and access, like the index, oops, index HTML. Um, you don't really need to follow this exact uh, structure, but I like to have it separate between public and private so I can uh, classify the folders and the files accordingly. Um, so let's just add something in here, uh, just h1, hello, hello world, classic hello world. Now we have the website and let's just uh, configure it. So what we have to do next, it's uh, going back to the exam installation folder, go to Apache extra and then look for this one httpd virtualhost.conf now edit it okay in here i have it already but let's just start over so we can go through so this file is basically a place where you will list all your virtual host that you're going to use for exam um it's uh, very simple to use. It's a uh, basic configuration like you would do in any Apache server. So let's just go through it. So first of all, we create a virtual host. Then we need to specify the exact same domain that we were going to use. In our case, was going to be dev sample.com. And then we specify the port that is going to be using. In our case, it's 80. Um, in another video, I'm going to uh, talk about how to uh, make the virtual host use a um, secure connection which, with HTTPS um, because that's going to be like the more realistic uh, way to um, test a website, right? All, all the websites nowadays have an SSL connection, um, which is going to be the way that we should do all our websites. Um, but for simplicity of the video, uh, we are going to just use the port 80 for now. 
So let's just continue virtual host. Okay. Now in here, we have to specify the information about the virtual host. The first thing that we will add is the server name, which is going to be exactly the same domain name. Dev sample.com. Okay, we have it here. Now the next one is going to be the where the website is stored called document root. So it's um, yeah, in between quotation marks, sorry. Uh, so we go back here, we go to our Apache HD docs, the example. Now, if you have a public folder, it has to be included in the path. We just copy it and paste it here. And the next one is going to be the uh, actual configuration and accessibility of the folder. So we just create this one directory. Uh, we just copy and paste the same uh, path. And we close the tag. Yeah, as I was saying, in here we specified the permissions that a user can have while accessing this folder. By default, if you don't add any permission, uh, the user probably won't be able to browse uh, through this particular folder. So we need to add this. And uh, just for simplicity, we are going to add the default require all granted. It means that we are giving all the permissions to browse through this uh, folder, which is all right. The next one is going to be uh, for XT access um, override uh, rules. So um, if you don't know what the XT access is, it's basically uh, you can specify an ht access file here, ht access, which is basically a custom configuration for the folder that this uh, file is in. Like if you want to override the global rules for a specific folder, like let's say there's a folder that you don't really want people to have access to, or if you want to add some redirect uh, rules or something like that, then you can do it here per particular folder. Um, you can also do it here if you specify the, the actual folder, but I think this one is like more common to find, be found. And um, <clears throat> this is the way I, I used to do it anyway. Okay, so for being able to use those folders, uh, those uh, HD access override files, we need to add this rule, which is low override. Oh. Um, this is optional. You don't need to have it if you don't have HD access files. So if, feel free to just remove it if you don't need it. So we save and um, we still need to do one more thing. Um, in Windows, you need to specify that uh, this um, domain that you are using here is going to uh, be hosted by our machine. Yeah, because on our machine, we don't have a domain resolve. Uh, we need to specify that this is on our machine and we need to host it. And um, for doing that, we need to go to our uh, system 32 uh, here. Okay, so this is the path. Uh, C drive, Windows, Sir, System32, Drivers, etc. And this uh, file called host is where we have to specify our domain. So if we edit it and we come here, um, it, as you can see, everything is commented out. Um, so there's no uh, virtual host set, but we are going to change this. We need to add, um, we need to specify the IP that we are going to use, which is going to be our default one for localhost. One. And then we need to specify the domain that we are going to host, which is dev.example. And that should do it. Okay, we have our configuration in Apache in exam, and we have the configuration in our machine to be able to recognize this um, domain and we be able to override it. Now, the last thing we need to do before trying it is just to restarting Apache. 
okay and then if we go back to our browser and just type dev example.com there you go you have the website here with our custom domain and that should do it now um as i was saying just keep an eye because i'm going to make another video to uh, make https connection with exam to simulate a more realistic uh, environment with your website and be able to test like secure connections and any kind of uh, code that requires security or uh, encryption so yeah thank you very much for uh, watching this video and please share subscribe and give a like if you like and uh, comment out if you want uh, any particular other videos or anything else see you on the next one